Sorry, good afternoon, everyone. Smiles behind Lupus. I am. This is my first day out of the house since Friday. Um, I literally slept till probably like eleven thirty this morning, and probably would have stayed asleep if I didn't have to go to this doctor's appointment. So I'm headed to the GYN for a, I think it's a four week uh, post-op. I can't even remember. Um, six weeks, I think. Let's just see what he has to say about all of this mess. So um, tomorrow I see infectious disease again to see if they want to do the IV antibiotics. I really don't know a lot of the side effects because he gave me two names of um, IV antibiotic treatment that you know he would consider. One was vancomycin, and one was a different one that I really never heard of. Um, so I kind of want to get the aspects, weigh my options because that augmenting it causes um, severe stomach pain and diarrhea, and it was very hard to take that. Um, Read this sign. It's a trunk or tree somewhere. I don't know if that's a church or something. But it's Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween. I asked my husband if you if we're gonna pass out candy. And he was like, it's up to me. So we were like, we've been together five years. We ain't never passed out any candy. I was like, well, this is true. So our light stays off anyway, so it won't matter. So hopefully they will not knock on our door looking for something because I ain't got nothing for you. So I know I was telling you guys like I wanted to start trying to do pescatarian or some type of autoimmune uh, diet. So I pretty much narrowed it down to there is a, a recipe I've watched a couple doctors that you know look like swear by this um, bone broth so I have all my ingredients written down so the next time I go to the store um, I don't know if it's gonna be today or tomorrow I'm gonna get it um, and pretty much I'll do the bone broth diet I'll leave a link um, in the description box what I found on Pinterest um, some of the plans and how to do it and um, one week was literally like or day one was proteins like for all your meals and a little fruit and then the bone broth and then the next day you just all bone broth like it's, it's pretty neat to see it so I think what I'll do is the days that I can have a protein I'll just make it fish or something like I don't really eat a whole lot of red meats or anything like that but I will make sure I can um the proteins that I can have let it be fish or chicken and slowly get myself weaned off of stuff like that and processed foods um I think my biggest thing is uh sugar 
and if I'm out, I always seem to go to McDonald's or Burger King. So I told my husband, um, we're done with most of our canned like vegetables that we normally buy on a regular. So I told him from this point on, we're just going to stick with getting fresh uh, vegetables from the store. Um, I may go to a farmer's market. Sorry if the sun is beaming. So I'm excited because I got to make some changes in my life to see if this will help. I know it's not going to take lupus away, but if it can decrease my chances with flares, then I'm all in at this point. Because I guess it took for me to realize, you know, being in a flare for three months has been really hard, hard on me. And the fact that I've been stuck in bed since um, Friday evening, only to get out every, you know, to do the basic things, I, I, I'm just tired of living like this. You know, I just want to be able to have a healthier me. I want to be on this earth as long as possible. So it's time to just make some changes. So. I have to look up some stuff on how to not have withdrawals from uh, sugar because when I tell you I eat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of candy. Like, I buy the big boxes of uh, Starburst from Sam's. It's like 36, I think, in a pack or in a box. And yeah, that will can last me for like maybe a week or two. I used to go through the bag of the bags of Starburst, like the $2 bags from Walmart, like two weeks. And um, sometimes I just gotta come up with healthier options. I've done it before. It's not like I can't. It's just, whew, I just have to make sure I have a whole lot of uh, natural fruits um, available. So I think I will, um, like I said, I'll include this link and I'll try to get this video. So what I think I wanna do is maybe start on a Sunday because that's easier to probably start on a Sunday just depending on when we get the groceries because it takes um, the bone broth it's like a two-day process on um, making it so I think I'll have to go to the butchers to get the like beef bones with the marrow so um, it's not something you but it's like it can last up to a week in your fridge and then up to three months if you freeze it so i'll see how much it makes and whatever is left i'll just freeze it you know for the following week so it doesn't go bad so i'm excited so guys be my accountability partners and make sure i'm on it and i'm doing what i'm supposed to do i'm just trying to go into it gradually and not be drastic so it's you know if I had a piece of beef you know but I know the difference from when I did nothing but like chicken and turkey ground turkey all the time to when I first started back eating like beef and stuff oh it was miserable miserable um, so yeah all right guys I will try to record um, when I get to the doctor's office. Hey Cheryl, how are you doing today? Cheryl, this is uh, Michael Rizzo. He's a Florida State third year medical student who's with me. So how are you doing? It started draining again. Did it really? Yeah. I went to, when I saw you last, I did go back to infectious disease. Mm -hmm. You put me on augmenting, which I only had diarrhea this time go around with it. Um, and it started back draining Friday and Saturday. So I see him tomorrow because his thing was okay. either I take one more week of augmenting or have to do the IV antibiotics to get rid of it. I don't know what to tell you anymore, Cheryl. I, I don't either. Um, because then I can't, I can't cut any wider than I did. I'm not cut, no. <laughs> I don't know what else to do at this point. But I thought I was like, oh, I'm good. I felt good after I finished the antibiotics. I even waited to the following Tuesday 
to make sure everything was good. I started back with my self step, got my infusion on that Wednesday and boom, Friday. So it's something about um, the medicines or... It has to be or the flares that come along with it. I just think IV antibiotics probably is the best, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes oral just isn't well, strong. How long is he going to try to keep you on it for? He just said a couple of weeks, nothing like, you know. So is he going to get you a pick line or what's he going to do? Know, oh, that's right, that's yeah. right, that's right, that's right. So, we'll so what, what did he, he say what he's going to push you on? Um, yeah, be vancomycin or something with a C, I can't remember. But I've never even heard of the antibody. Oh, no, no. We've used clindamycin before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see him tomorrow at 3, so. I'll call back and let you know what he says. All right. Let me take a look. So I've been draining like on this side, but it this still one looks started pretty over good. There. Though. Yeah, it looks good. I was like shocked to. I, I just give up. I was telling Michael that sometimes you come in here. Um, it's fortunate the last few times I haven't seen you that way, but she'll come in with oxygen and she yeah. just looks, oh. It's <laughs> up and down with it. Yeah. So, this is a bigger scar than the last time. It actually looks better. So, right down here. I don't know. It, so did I put? I can I can read my note, but again, did I did I put the stitch under the skin, or did I did pull something out? I think you I put this all under in the dermal. I think you had monocryl. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. It could just be that it's Maybe. that it's just drained from that healing. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't really look infected to me. Does it hurt worse? I mean, it's sore, but. Yeah, but that's yeah. hard. That's a hard rock yeah. incision on your mom's yeah. pubis. Yeah. You know, that's going to take, um, you know, it'll take three to six months to soften up. But it, I mean, but anatomically, it looks it looks better actually. I think than the last one oh, did, yeah. and I'm hoping it's going to see it where you just rubbed on the end. That's where it's like it hurts right there, and that's where it was draining. Over here. Yeah, the very. So not at this end, but this end here. Yeah, it's draining at both ends. That could be where a knot's trying to work through. Okay. I don't. I think it's reasonable to go ahead and go on the antibiotics, but again, I don't see that. Like, it's not like, it's not like pussed out. It's not like yeah. open, really an open drain sinus or anything. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to be optimistic here. Yeah. All right. It has to work. It has to. Mm -hmm. like, I just, I'm tired of being off of my meds. Like it's really affecting me. So I understand. I'm just frustrated. I don't know. I mean, it, 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 having a look, take a look at it. But I mean, it doesn't look. If there is infection, it's got to be minimal infection. And I and I can, I think it's reasonable to go ahead and for a couple of weeks just be on something really strong. Mm -hmm. But again, I would tend to think that if it was gonna, how long did it take to puss out the last time? The first or, time. Yeah, the first one. Ooh, like within a week. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I, that looks that really looks pretty good to me. Yeah. I'm still optimistic. Okay? okay. <laughs> you know, it's going to take, it'll take three months to soften up, but it should, okay? Because yeah, yeah. it's all the way down, it's almost all the way to the bone. Okay. So it's just going to be a little bit more tender just because of that. Yeah. But I think it will soften up, okay? Okay. All right. Just have him send me a note just so I can know what he, has, okay. what he does for you, okay? That'd be great. All right, take that up to the front awesome. desk, but it's, it shouldn't pop open unless truly it gets infected. Okay. Alright, check the day. Thank you, too. Alright, guys. Um, the doctor felt um, he doesn't think it's like the infection, kind of like what I dealt with before with the pus and all of that stuff. Um, he did touch the areas, the two spots that were draining. Um, so he feels like infectious disease, um, you know, if he could put me on a couple more weeks worth of um, IV antibiotics that would probably do the job, you know, cause he was like, I can't cut any, you know, more or deeper than what I did already. And I was like, well, yeah, you ain't gonna cut me no more. Like, I'm not going through that again. So they gotta figure this crap out. 
so he's just you know he's really nice but he just he's i told him i said well i got back on my medicine my cell step and my been listed and he was like he felt He felt that he was like, maybe it's something with your lupus meds. Cause it does seem like when I'm on my meds and like I told him, I said, it could be that or the flares that I'm having. Um, I guess I can question my rheumatologist tomorrow after the um, infectious disease appointment to see if she's had any other patients that had to deal with, you know, trying to fight infection from surgery. Um, what was her options? Do you feel the cell step is the issue? Do you feel the Benlista? Like, I need to know stuff like that. And I'm tired of people just like, oh, well, you just have to deal with it. You know, um, he had a med student with him. So he was trying to like go over my case. And he was like, you know, she has lupus. I was listening to him outside of the door. He's like, she has lupus. And sometimes she comes in, she just looks amazing. And then other times she's on oxygen, you know, and he's like, oh, and she just looks horrible. I'm like, I can hear you outside the door talking about me. Hello. But yeah. So, um, I just remember the first time I came back to him when I got off oxygen he was like, oh my God, you look like a completely different person. But he just said that like, I had a glow to me <laughs> once I was off the oxygen. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, so I know God's a healer and you know, I'm just praying, you know, and believing that I would not have to go back on oxygen, um, that my oxygen sats will go back to where they need to be. Um, I did get a tire. Um, we have this used tire place. Um, because my husband took it to Walmart, you know, to just go get a tire, but then my rim was bent really bad, so they couldn't do anything with the rim. So then we had to find a rim. So we, um, the junkyard wanted like 80 bucks, but the used tire guy, which I used to use all the time before I bought this car, um, and my prior car, uh, that was paid for. I used to go there when I needed tires because they were really good tires. They were, you know, and they were really cheap. So the guy had it for $40, which was a tire in the rim. So they put that on. So now I have to find the hubcap, which I found a couple places online um, that I can, you know, purchase it for. Um, Cause right now the car looks bummed up with that one thing missing a hubcap. And then that, that side that I scraped on the van. I was like, Lord Jesus, the car ain't even paid off and I'm just tearing it up.